ברוכים הבאים לדיק דוק דקות. This video is about the participles. The Hebrew participle is somewhat of a peculiar animal. The modern Hebrew word for participle is benoni, which means in between. It describes that because a participle is a half verb and half adjective in Hebrew, which seems a little confusing, but let me explain. The way that it, uh, a participle is formed in Hebrew is by taking a three-letter root, which is the way all Hebrew verbs are formed, based on a three-letter root, and then adding a, a series of vowels to that to create a vocal pattern. So the verb part is the three-letter root, and then the adjective part is uh, the adjective ending is attached to that three-letter root. So you have, even in the form of the participle, half of a verb and half of an adjective. But it goes further. The Hebrew participle also, in terms of meaning, is half verb and half adjective. As a verb, participles describe continuous, ongoing action in the present. But as an adjective, it, dis, uh, it sort of modifies the subject, which is uh, an, an al always a, a noun. So participles are half verbs, half adjectives. They describe action, as verbs do, in this case, ongoing, continuous activity, and they also modify nouns, modify their subject. So again, three root letters onto which you impose a series of vowels, which we call a vocal pattern, and then the adjective endings. This is how you get a participle. We have some examples written up here. Both of these examples are taken from uh, Jonah chapter 1 and should be at least somewhat familiar to you. So first, here we have whole, uh, a hey, lamed, kaf. Hey, lamed, kaf is the root, the three root letters. Our vowels are o, holam, and a, tsere. Holech, holech. Masculine singular forms of many verbs don't have any sort of ending. This is true both for participles and for adjectives, actually. So there's no ending uh, on the end of the kaf, or on, of the three-letter root. So ho lech. And this, uh, this word means walking. Walking. Ho lechet is our feminine singular. Ho lechet, which means walking. She is walking. This would be he is walking, she is walking. You can see the feminine singular ending is this se uh, segol with a tav. Our masculine plural form, holchim, holchim, has the adjective ending of hirik yod meim, which is masculine plural. And then our feminine plural, holchot, also walking, would be they are walking. Uh, they feminine, holchot, with our adjective plural, feminine plural ending. So all of these mean walking, and then the subject differentiates whether it's he, she, you, or, or me, uh, for the feminine singular, plural, and feminine plural. And then in this column we have soer, soer, which is masculine singular again, storming. This is the verb storming. Uh, I realized I made a spelling error here. So there are two feminine singular adjective uh, participle endings. One is the segol tav, and the other is a comet's hey. So here, holechet, here, soera, soera. Soer, masculine singular, storming. He is storming, it is storming. Soera, she is storming. You are storming, it is storming. Soerim, they, masculine plural. So erot, feminine plural. Walking, storming. In the book of Jonah, chapter 1, the sailors are in the midst of this storm and they describe the storm using this delightful phrase, 
that the sea is holach visoer. The sea itself is walking and storming. When you're working with participles, the easiest place to start is just by adding the English ing to the end of the meaning of the root. So this root means to walk, just add ing, walking. This root means to storm, ing, storming. And that's the Hebrew participle.